I've never been a fan of electric motorcycles, especially the overly heavy, uninspiring ones like the Ultraviolet F77. But the CFX concept? That's something entirely different. It's the cleanest, most complete electric bike concept I've seen, and somehow I'm drawn to it. A fully electric motocross machine built to challenge the dominance of traditional 450cc internal combustion dirt bikes. And from the look of things, that future is rapidly approaching. Fresh news suggests that its launch is very close, likely between the end of 2025 and the start of 2026. Unveiled at the 2024 EICMA show in Milan, the CF Moto CFX electric motocross concept grabbed attention immediately, not only for its sleek and futuristic design, but for what it represents, a production-ready leap into the top tier of electric off-road racing. While electric motocross bikes have been tried before, Few have come as close to matching the ambition, design intelligence, and real-world performance potential as the CFX. Let's start with the basics. The CFX is an electric motocross bike with performance said to rival that of 450cc combustion engine competitors. That's a bold claim, especially considering the hurdles electric bikes face in terms of battery weight, motor performance, and thermal management. But CF Moto isn't merely throwing buzzwords around. This is a machine rooted in deep engineering thought, drawing on both in-house expertise and lessons from its extensive partnerships, particularly with KTM and the Peer Mobility Group. The bike is built around a 400-volt electrical system, a feature more common in high-end electric cars than motorcycles. Most electric motorcycles operate at significantly lower voltages, which limits charging speed and power output. The 400-volt setup on the CFX hints at ultra-fast charging capabilities and the kind of rapid energy transfer necessary for high-demand applications like motocross. And this is not just about rapid charging, it's also about energy delivery in real time, a crucial factor in motocross where torque and responsiveness are everything. Interestingly, while the CFX shares its powertrain with an earlier prototype, the EVMX project, the concept now unveiled is far more refined in both aesthetics and engineering. It features a robust yet lightweight chassis with fully adjustable WP suspension. That's a logical choice given CF Moto's ties to KTM, whose parent company owns WP. This gives the CFX not only a performance pedigree but also access to some of the best off-road suspension technology available today. What really sets the CFX apart is its approach to cooling and thermal regulation. Unlike traditional ice bikes where airflow and radiator placement are more straightforward, electric bikes have to manage multiple sources of heat, battery packs, motors, and controllers, each of which operates optimally within a different temperature range. CF Moto's solution is both innovative and deeply technical. According to new patent filings, the CFX uses a thermoelectric cooling device also known as a Peltier element, that allows it to fine-tune the temperature of its battery and motor systems independently. The system essentially transfers heat between the two components depending on which side needs more cooling or heating at any given moment. That's not only impressive, but also incredibly rare in the motorcycle world, where most competitors use separate radiators for the motor and battery. CF Moto's single radiator setup is cleverly routed through ducts housed where a traditional fuel tank would sit. Air enters from the front cowls, travels through ducting beneath the seat, passes over the vertically mounted radiator beneath the rider, and exits from the sides of the tail. This configuration protects the radiator from debris while optimizing airflow. This sophisticated design likely allows the CFX to maintain such a compact and race-ready form. Despite all this complexity, the bike weighs in at just 276 pounds, which is equal to 125 kilograms. That's lighter than many ICE motocross bikes and suggests that the battery isn't particularly large, though specifics on capacity and range remain under wraps. But make no mistake, this isn't a compromise. Instead of using a swappable battery system like KTM's Freeride E, CF Moto appears to have focused on optimizing fast charging via its high voltage system and thermal management tech. In essence, they're betting on efficiency rather than redundancy. Battery and motor placement is also a key design strength. The battery pack wraps around the motor, 
forming a compact unit that mimics the dimensions of a conventional internal combustion engine. The patent even specifies a 2.4 mm gap between battery and motor components to avoid thermal crossover, while ensuring minimal space is wasted. This is another sign that the CFX wasn't thrown together as a showpiece. It was meticulously engineered to perform, with racing-level attention to detail. Even more telling is the design philosophy of integrating form and function. The vertical radiator location isn't just novel, it's purposeful. Mounted under the seat and aligned with airflow paths, it supports both passive and active cooling, particularly important during charging sessions or stationary periods between races. This is where the CFX really pulls ahead of less sophisticated designs. Most electric bikes don't handle heat buildup effectively during idle or recharge states, leading to compromised battery life or slow charging speeds. CF Moto's clever airflow and cooling architecture looks ready to solve that problem elegantly. And CF Moto's timing couldn't be better. With the FIM eXplorer World Cup gaining momentum, and companies like Honda, Royal Enfield, and Yamaha already testing or investing in electric motocross initiatives, the CFX arrives just as the electric off-road world is heating up. In an industry often dominated by vaporware and unfulfilled promises, CF Moto's track record gives the CFX considerable credibility. What might hold it back? At this stage, only the unknowns remain. We still don't have detailed specs on the motor's power or torque output, battery capacity, charging times, or ride range. There's also the question of pricing. Though if CF Moto's usual competitive strategy holds, the CFX could dramatically undercut competitors while offering similar or even superior performance. And with fewer moving parts, lower maintenance, and instant torque delivery, electric motocross bikes like this one make more sense than ever, especially for riders seeking cutting-edge experiences without the headache of carb tuning, oil changes, or frequent rebuilds. Stylistically, the CFX also sets a new standard. Unlike many electric concepts that come off as overly futuristic or impractical, the CFX looks ready for the track. Aggressive lines, lean bodywork, and a color palette that exudes purpose make this a machine that demands attention, even when it's standing still. And thanks to its silent operation, it might be the first high-performance motocross bike you can ride in your backyard without getting hate from the neighbors, and it's clear CF Moto is playing the long game with electric performance. With its Zeho sub-brand already catering to urban electric mobility and a growing lineup of ICE motorcycles that rival the best-in-class, the CFX feels like the company's moonshot. The bold step into the future that every forward-looking manufacturer eventually takes. With its smart cooling system, rapid charging potential, race-ready design, and serious engineering credibility, it's clear that CF Moto isn't playing catch-up. They're writing the playbook. So, what do you think about this crazy concept bike? Would you trade the roar of a 450cc engine for the electric surge of the CFX? Or is this the beginning of a new motocross revolution? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this video and want to dive deeper into the history and evolution of legendary motorcycles, from vintage Hondas to cutting-edge hyperbikes, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to SK for more exciting content. Ride safe, dream big, and stay tuned for our next story. Goodbye.